Okay, the next couple of clips that are going to follow this one here, or joined onto this one here, are a couple of recalls and stop whistles, further um, stop whistle and recall exercises that I've just done with her out on the moor. Uh, we're two weeks, just over, or one day over two weeks with her, and the reason that I'm showing it is because neither one of these um, clips that follow required a remote collar prompt. So neither one of them, they're both rewarded at the end, but neither one required a remote collar prompt. So I um, am looking for, personally, for me, this would be my level of understanding. So I, I would look to see that the dog has this level of fluency and understanding um, on these behaviours before I then move on to what you'd call a correcting stage. So a, a heavy proofing stage where I'm now saying, okay, it's very, very clear that you understand what is required in this context when you hear these signals. So now I know for myself that if I correct the dog, sufficiently and it will be a su sufficient correction because the dog knows now so I'm not going to be it'd be unfair for me to just keep nagging and you know tapping away on buttons um, to let the dog you know feel a, a sort of like an irritation or an annoyance each time now I would move on to the, at this point here I would look to moving on to correction so the levels on the remote collar would go up to levels where I'm now saying don't ignore that again don't ignore that again and then I can remove it then I can look to remove it and perhaps periodically bring it back in um, just as a reminder to serve as a reminder here and there but ultimately the aim of any um, for me this is for me personally the aim of any uh, off lead reliability is that that's what it is it's off lead reliability and I know that I need to take the dog through not only the acquisition and the um, you know the generalization stages of that behavior, I know that I will also need to go through a proofing stage where correction comes in to let them know that that was wrong, okay? Which you wouldn't do early on, unless you're talking about something that's very dangerous or threatens welfare of this animal or another person or a third party animal, um, where you would just simply, it's just a life lesson, don't do that, it's wrong, you know? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about building behavior and training and creating fluency in behaviours. So as I say, I'm going to show you these couple of clips. Neither one of them has um, remote collar prompts in it. It's simply to uh, the audible sound of the whistle. And I would now look to move on from here onto the correction stages, feeling comfortable in doing so and feeling that it's fair on the dog in doing so. Have a look and see what you think. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> 